success ultimately is a numbers game. It's a matter of numbers. And and I have been in enough situations and enough environments to know that if I can outwork everybody or most what most people would do, I will probably have results that are greater than most people. It's having faith. Like for me, it's having faith in God, right? Like, so I'm, I'm a Christian. I believe Jeremiah 29, 11, that for, I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope in a future. Like that is written in scripture. Now you may not be a Christian, but like you, you know, whatever, whatever your faith is like for me, it's literally delivered in scripture that like there is a plan to prosper me. So I believe that the other place that my faith comes from is me is my own work ethic to go, look, success ultimately is a numbers game. It's a matter of numbers. And and I have been in enough situations and enough environments to know that if I can outwork everybody or most what most people would do, I will probably have results that are greater than most people um, in any environment, any industry. I could go be a real estate agent, a mortgage broker, a car salesperson, an insurance professional. I could go you know, start my own whatever medical center, and it's like, if I, if I trust myself to work, there's a lot of faith that comes from that. And then the third place that I would say this comes from is a lack of need for material items. Mm. So I grew up, I, I was born and I literally lived in a trailer park. I was raised by a single mom. Um, you know, I, I, I taught a webinar last week actually that I had never done before called High Earner Habits. And I shared a lot of the stories of my personal childhood about growing up. And over the years, we've, we've been able to acquire some money, right? We're not the richest people in the world, but I don't need it. Just like my clients are not my source, my car is not my source, my house is not my source, my clothes are not my source, my social media is not my source, my website is not my source. I don't need external things. It's not that they're bad. Yeah, I, you know, when you can pay cash for it or you can afford it, buy the freaking dream home. Go on the dream vacation. Have the nice clothes. Fine. But don't make it your source. If it's your source, then you are beholden to it. It controls you. And if it controls you, it prohibits you from being able to stand in the service of another person uh, with, with no strings attached. If I don't need a car to impress you and I don't need a house to impress you and I don't need a job title to impress you and I don't need nice clothes to impress you or impress anyone else. And I'm also lucky because I married a woman who married me, not my stuff, not my title, not my my job position. And so, you know, who you select in a spouse is really important. And for one, that's for one of the reasons. And so anyways, I know it's it seems weird that like, what I spend my money on would be connected to my ability to sell, but they totally are. Because if I have money in the bank, I can say, I can stand in selfless service to you inside of any sales conversation. But if I'm in debt and I'm scared about my mortgage and I'm scared about how I'm gonna put food on the table because I you know, got a nicer car than I really needed or I got a nicer house than I really could afford or I overextended myself on a credit card by buying an outfit that I didn't really need it. That decision in my personal life, which is a personal character, that compromises my ability to stand in complete selfless service of you in my sales conversation.